how it looks like for you. All right. Welcome, everybody. This is the Life Enthusiast online radio, TV, and Blab Network. I'm Scott Patton. Uh, joining us is Martin Batella, and below we have Joan Kaler. Welcome. Uh, we're here uh, to restore vitality to you and the planet. So welcome, Martin. Joan, how are you guys doing today? Great. Yay! Yeah, I'm trying to keep up with life. It's happening. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it has been happening. Lots of exciting things. And one of the reasons we're so excited to have Joan is she is an expert on EFT, which is emotional freedom techniques. And it's kind of like acupuncture without the needles uh, for your emotions. And all of us have grown up and some teacher somewhere or some bully somewhere said something and it caused subconscious problems and th those things end up running our lives and you can do something about those things on, on a lot of different levels but one of the simplest gentlest and easiest ways is through EFT so Joan would like to start off with just a what are, what is emotional free or what are emotional freedom techniques and how, how do they get used and what can they be used for oh my gosh thank you Scott emotional freedom techniques is the second love of my life um it's, as you described, it's acupressure, acupuncture without needles. So we all have the Chinese found over 5,000 years ago that we all have these energy points on our bodies. If somebody's a licensed acupuncturist, there are over 400 energy points that they know how to access. With EFT, we just access 14 of them. So it's a lot more simple. But simply by tapping on these acupressure points, we can get relief from negative emotions, from self-sabotaging beliefs, from the energy of pain and discomfort. And that takes everything down. So does it work on everything ethically? I have to say no, although the freezing in EFT land is try it and see what happens. I'd like to pop in here with mm -hmm. this. Um, I'm actually trained as a clinical hypnotherapist. Most people don't know it, but anyway, long ago in a galaxy far away, I was actually practicing hypnosis and I was trained as, with NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and, uh, and I used kinesiology on myself. Mm -hmm. So I could say that our bodies use water or actually nature uses water as the storage medium for memories beautiful and the water is actually stored in the human body in the tissue soft tissue hard tissue everywhere mm -hmm. but the transmission of these memories of these energies happens along these meridians and there are 26 of them 13 pairs really and as they go through the body when we change something about the energy flow, typically by unclogging a blockage, typically pain in a human body uh -huh. pools where energy flow is restricted. And this is how the acupuncture works, is that when you push a needle into a spot where there was a blockage to energy flow, you release the blockage and it flows, no longer pools, no longer pain. Yes. And the other point I wanted to say is this. Up until we are about six years old, we do not have conscious control over what we perceive. There are these oh. transitions as, we, as the brain develops. There's a major gate at age nine months, two years, four years, and six years. Each one of them represents a different transition. And only at about age six do we start having alpha brain waves until that, pardon me, I meant beta. Up until that time, we're actually in the alpha and before that in the theta brain waves. Meaning this, until you're about six years old, everything that you hear or perceive is stored literally in the brain and in the body. So your mommy or your sister or your whoever may say something that your subconscious stores and interprets in a bizarre and perhaps destructive way. Nobody meant any ill will. Mm -hmm. It just 
happen. It happens. So we need EFT to be able to release the energy of all those traumas. I'm for most of us, I hope there are some happy things that happened during that time. But if there are any unhappy things that happened, EFT is the perfect tool for releasing that trauma so we can clear out our stream and live a happy, healthy, successful life. Because if we don't, well, then we have all kinds of problems later growing up. And then we all go, I wonder why I'm feeling this way. I wonder why I'm making these choices. And then what I usually get from my clients is, oh, don't give me that Freudian stuff. And I go, no, it's not about Freud. It's about what happened to you when you were growing up. I guarantee there's a link. We just have to find it. Precisely. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, in your words, what I was trying to say, <laughs> which is stuff happens. Yes. Based on the stuff that happened, we create patterns, behavior patterns, and they can express themselves as physical pain, but it can also express as behavior, as choices. Like we may be sabotaging our career. We may be sabotaging our relationship. We may be unexpressing our true talents, whatever, all kinds of blockages mm -hmm. and that's why i love eft so much is because somebody comes in and i explain to them i'm not your typical therapist so I'm telling you right now and then as we start investigating then they go oh i've cleared that and i go okay and then i'll do a muscle test to see if it's been cleared which now I'm getting to the point where I don't have to physically do it, but I do it with them physically, applied kinesiology, because it teaches them what energy is all about, the flow of their energy. And sure shooting, if they say something has been cleared, they have a weak muscle. After I calibrate them, they have a weak muscle and it goes down or it starts flopping up and down. And I say, well, I respect your opinion that you think it's cleared, but your body is telling us differently. So we need to work on it. I had an experience like this. Uh, I was using homeopathic remedies to deal with my children. You know, we, we are into energy healing. Anyway, so I'm sitting in my office, a corporate office, and I'm sharing with a fellow who's there. And uh, I'm saying that we're using homeopathics to clear things with my kids. Okay. And he says, well, I don't know if I can believe this, uh, that it works or has any effect. And I look at him and say, well, Fortunately, your opinion of whether this is working or not working is not required for it to work. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and likewise, what you just said, right? When uh -huh. a person thinks or believes that they are over it, we actually have a method by which we can evidence or show that they are or are not over it. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that when somebody says, well, you're the 10th therapist that I've seen and I've talked about this over and over again. And I say, oh, good. So now it's really embedded in your unconscious. <laughs> good. You've talked about it over and over again. So we've got even more work to do here. Um, but eventually, if um, once they experience EFT, once they experience energy psychology, and then I get the what just happened, this is really weird, then I know that they're going to be engaged with me. And then I know that they're going to start, they have an open mind and they're going to start learning and healing. So John, can you do this remotely over, yes, over I, this video? Yes, I can. You could, fix, it, you could fix me? If you need fixed, I don't know that you need fixed, but if you want fixed, I'll fix you. What do you need fixed? I don't know. Um, <laughs> you want me to check your chakras? Well, that's not EFT, but I can do that too. Um, Energy travels through the computer. So yes, I can remotely balance, definitely remotely use EFT, but I can also balance people's energy through the computer. Well, I'm a willing guinea pig. We could just demonstrate something like I could use this here for evidence, right? Like strong. My name is Martin. Mm -hmm. My name is Charlie. Mm -hmm. Right? That sort of thing. Right, right. We can go for that. Do that. You can, you can run a few. And I love, I like the sway method too. When I use that a lot for myself. So that might not work so great. Really? You think? Okay. For me, it, it helps me a lot. 
Um, but what I'm trying to do now is just go into my inner wisdom and then ask the question and then just take a breath and wait for the answer because, okay, I want to do this the fastest and simplest way possible, especially if I'm tired and I don't feel like standing up and swaying. So I'm trying to use that and then take it to my sixth chakra, my third eye and find out what I need to do. So I'm developing that more too, but the ring method, the muscle testing, the sway method. And what I really love to do too is the hanger method. That's how I show. (laughs) Now I get two metal coat hangers and I show people where their bioenergy field is. Okay. And that's a lot of fun too. Okay. I could find two coat hangers if I'm allowed to leave, but whatever. Let's demonstrate something. Okay. What do you want me to demo? Anything in particular? You want me to demo EFT or you want me to demo uh, chakra balancing or muscle testing? What would you like me to demo? How would you help a client who just showed up and says, "Uh, I don't know. I'm just not right. All right. Well, then I say, let me check. If you wouldn't, then I go into my explanation of what a chakra is. Now, I told Scott earlier, I'm going to get a... I just have a thought. Oh. I just had a... uh, I just learned an hour ago that there is a setback in my business from an external party. How did I attract this complication into my life? And can I clear it from my side? Let's see. I would say probably, let's say here, let me just do a quickie seven. I'm, I'm, I'll get my hand away from the camera here. Okay. Seventh chakra, six, five, four, three up. Yep. They're taking some of your power away there, Martin. Your third chakra is a little off balance. I'm clear. I'm clearing it for you right now. Using my pendulum. Okay. Now let me go down to number two. A little teeny bit out of weakness down there. Not too bad. Okay. Straightening that. Okay. Let me go down to the root. Loved. Oh, you got a bunch of stuff down there. Yes, ma'am. That's my uh, basic modality. Okay, that cleared fairly quickly. Okay, I'm going to, okay, I went at all levels of the root, all levels. Level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's good. Now two, level one, two, one. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Let me get a three. Level three, that's been cleared now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, fourth chakra, fifth. This is all you, Martin. Six, seven. Okay, take a deep breath. Blow it out. Now, just for the heck of it, do a little bit of this hand motion. And I want you to bend down by your feet if you can. Touch my feet. Okay. Either that or have the intention, because what we're doing is we want to blend all the chakras together now. Yeah, and then come up, and then go up above your head, and then come down to your heart center. Good, good. Deep breath. All right, I want you to close your eyes and go into this situation and tell me what physical sensation or emotional feeling emotion you have right now right at the lumbar area of my lower back from the back it feels like something's globbed on it like some foreign alien okay is it a dull or sharp sensation Mm, it's as if you attached a uh, frog to the back of your body a frog Ooh, interesting okay let's do some tapping on this it's so, cold, cold and ugly. Open your eyes. Say, even though I have this sensation in my lower lumbar, and then describe it. Even though I have this sensation in, in the lower lumbar that feels like an attached frog. I accept, I acknowledge this sensation. 
I acknowledge the sensation. And now I choose to release it. And I now I choose to release it. Okay. This is my Joan Kaler version. Okay, starting at the top of your head. Left or right. It doesn't make any difference. Whichever hand you choose. I release this sensation now. I release the sensation now. Now down to your eyes. I release the sensation now. Good. I release the sensation now. My lower lumbar is strong and healthy. My lower lumbar is strong and healthy. Good. I release the sensation now. Lumbar is strong and healthy. I release the sensation now. Good. I do a crossover too for brain balancing. Good. And then I have people lean back and tap under their ribs, get the liver. Okay, now here's the fun part. I want you to get in touch with that physical sensation in your lower lumbar, tapping your thumbs together. And when it starts to lessen, I want you to start tapping on the inside tip of your index finger. All right, that's long gone. It's all gone? I think so. I can't feel it. Okay, so let's hit the middle finger just to complete this. And the baby finger, back of the hand, inside the wrist. I do the inside. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. And then the other wrist. Okay, good. Now, take a deep breath. Release. Close your eyes. And think of your lower lumbar and tell me what's happening down there. It's gone. It's gone? Yeah. I just don't care. High five. <laughs> That's great. There Thanks. you go. Now, whatever the situation was, you can remember it, but it doesn't affect you anymore. Yeah, I actually have this strong emotional, I don't give a mm. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm so happy I could assist you. Yeah, that's like, I'm so ready to take it on home. Okay, so that was a cool demo. Is that a cool demo? So, yes, no, Joan, does this, is it usually this fast? When you work with me, it can be. Um, it depends on how skilled the practitioner is, to be quite honest, and how much uh, experience they have. Yeah. Sometimes, and, and the more open-minded someone is, the faster it can work, too. If there's any like, oh, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen, I, I say, I don't care how stupid you think it is. Let's just try it and see what happens. And then I get that this is weird and oh, my gosh, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I've done this sort of stuff many times. But also the confidence of the practitioner on the other side just I agree. Clear, clears the channel strongly. Oh, okay. This didn't, this didn't fix the problem. It just fixed how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. Right. But now you have the attitude that you can go and do whatever you need to do to fix it or deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, the blockage has been removed so that you're not – Held back. Go, Martin. <laughs> we don't clap like this. We clap like this. We clap like this. This is true. And that's why I love, it was such an uh, honor and pleasure to be invited to be on the fibromyalgia board because I thought, geez, people, if you can just use EFT for the energy of your pain, Golly, Neds, um, you might not be as miserable as you are. You know what I'm thinking is that the pain is actually part of what they want in their life. They, oh, may, and the, they may not consciously think that that's what they brought up on themselves, but they, there's got to be some secondary. Right, right, right. The other point that I wanted to make, which is really important, is nine, I think 99% of the time – or at least 90% of the time, there is an emotional underlying root cause 
of the pain or discomfort. And if a practitioner can find that, or if the person does enough tapping and they know what the event was in their life that started this whole mess, then they can tap on that. And then they remove, here's the table, here is, here's a leg. They remove one of the legs of the table of the pain. Yes. Yes. I'm, well, I'm just so thrilled to be doing this blab with you. This is so exciting. So this is now for the people who watched it. If you aren't freaked out yet, or if you think, wow, this was different, or wow, I'd like some of that, how would they get some of that? How do we get to Joan Kaler? Oh, you get Joan Kaler by just going to joankaler.com or Joan, send me, shoot me an email at joan at joankaler.com. And uh, do uh, they pay? Yes, they would pay. And um, I would. Be what's able, the typical? Oh, uh, it depends. Um, oh, come on. Ask for it. No, no, no. I'm just thinking how I do this because part of me is a consultant. So the consultant part of me, it would be $200 for an hour and a half. All right. And then so, I have a consulting agreement that I send somebody and then we arrange a day and time and then we meet through securevideo.com and do it. Do a proper session with confidentiality. And oh, yeah. And Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I get... Um, so you don't there, do it on blabs? No, uh, no, <laughs> no, seriously, uh, technically or metaphorically, no blabbing about the pain. <laughs> no blabs. No, 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 no. HEPA compliant secure signal. That is the portal that I use when I do distance consulting. Good. Very secure. And then I get somebody's name, address, emergency contact, phone number. And what's really interesting is since English is my only language, I did once consult with somebody over in Denmark hmm. with EFT. That was fun. They spoke better English than I did. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've experienced that. So, so, uh, so without uh, breaking confidentialities, could you just – throw some stories from the field like what sort of thing happens with people what sort of thing happens with people uh something that they're not expecting they may have a relief in pain whatever it is emotional or the energy of their physical pain because i have to do this martin i'm going to say this is part of my ethics i'm not a doctor i'm not in the medical field i'm a licensed counselor so i don't treat pain or medical issues. I treat the energy or help with the energy of the pain. And I definitely help you with um, self-sabotaging thoughts and negative emotions. Okay. Having said that, getting that out of the way, um, their life starts to change. And what I caution people on is some of the changes might not be comfortable. For instance, I'm working with a client right now and I really think she needs to divorce her husband. Mm-hmm. But she has to come to that conclusion herself. I can't say, oh, you need to divorce that so-and-so. So I'm just sitting here waiting for her to reach that moment. My job here is to support her and guide her along her path, whatever she chooses. But I knew that she's starting to get healthier and healthier. And I know that she's not going to be healthy living with this person. So when she finally comes to this conclusion, then I will support her in her process. But that's what happens. People's lives change for the better. Sometimes it gets worse before it gets better, but people's lives change. I mean, I'm sitting here having a blab with you and Scott. If you had told me I was going to be doing this two years ago, I would have said, okay, what have you been smoking? <laughs> and here we all are talking about helping people. It's awesome. amazing. And I, I'm so honored. I feel so blessed because I truly know what my purpose here is on earth. I don't have to wonder what it is. I know exactly what I'm supposed to do. Wonderful. Teach tapping. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Okay. So, Joan, how long have you been a therapist? Okay. Graduated Duquesne in a university in 1994. So the therapist part I've been doing for 22 years. And then where I practice in Pennsylvania, we got licensure in 2002. So I've been a licensed professional counselor since 2002, but I've been a professional counselor since 1994. So like I tell my clients, I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. It's been 22 years now. And when somebody comes into me for couples counseling, I say, well, I've been married for 30 years this August. So that's more important than my degree. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I can tell you how to navigate the waves of a relationship. But yes, I've been a professional counselor since 1994. Yeah, I guess you can uh, say that you've been done, been there, done that, got the T-shirt, <laughs> washed it I've, twenty times. <laughs> I've seen. I can't say I've seen everything, but I've seen a lot, and I've heard a lot. So there's not too much that surprises me anymore. Okay. So people can come to you with, "My life's a mess. My body's a mess. My finances uh, are a mess. My relationship is a mess." And I say, okay, we're just going to take this one step. At a- I had somebody like that yesterday, bless her heart, 32 years old, and her life is a mess. But right. the, the key was that she told me that she remembered being bullied in middle school. And she said, life was fine until I was 10 years old. And then when I went to middle school, I lost my soul. And I went, La-ta! now we have a place to start here. Actually, that's so common. So many girls just at the edge of puberty, end up crashing. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I think I'm about the fifth therapist she's been to. And I said, well, I'm unlike anybody you've ever worked with before. And then I taught her some breathing exercises. And I told her to go to emofree.com and study that. And then I took her through a real quick relaxation tap just to relax um, and she did report feeling a little better. So I can't wait to get into the thick of this with her to help mm-hmm. her. She's just this poor lady. She's such a sweet person. She's a mess. <laughs> so, yes. Don't we all wish that we had something like this at the beginning rather than 30 or 40 years in? Yeah. If I, I always say, you know, the wisdom, if I knew then what I know now, but uh, what's really exciting is that I love teaching EFT because it's a tool that works most of the time. Because I always say cognitive behavior therapy and exposure response prevention, blah, blah, blah. I was talking with the director of the International OCD Foundation earlier this week. I said, and I've been a member since... 1989 since the beginning i said you know you guys are celebrating your 30th anniversary this year and you've been obsessing about ocd for 30 years <laughs> <laughs> it's time to open a new door <laughs> so we're working on that uh yeah funny thing ocd has its roots in brain chemistry and we actually have supplements for that, that make it a lot better. But yeah. boy, when you can clear the channels, oh. them, boy, does the life ever start coming back together? Well, Scott and I did a course on Udemy on gentle behavior therapy using EFT for OCD. Because thanks to him, I've been allowed to take all my ideas and put them into, whether it's Udemy or Udemy, however you say it, potatoes, potatoes, but we have courses on our uh, on Udemy.com to help people with OCD and hair pulling okay. and skin picking, a variety of situations. So they can actually self. Um, they can the use the tools, <laughs> self educate, um, shoot me an email, ask a question. They can do anything they want once they decide to purchase the course. And I am here to be their coach. Sounds good. Scott, any comments? That's right. <laughs> right. No, it's been fascinating uh, watching and, and seeing it work. And I'm just uh, 
every time that I get together with Joan, uh, sometimes I get her to do a little EFT on me too. And it always just uh, is amazing the impact and the effect that it has. So I really strongly recommend, which is why we have Joan here to introduce her, is we really strongly recommend you uh, take a look at this because the mind and the body are connected. And yes. unfortunately, a lot of our... Uh, Medical systems are all about, uh, oh, just take this pill and it'll fix whatever's ailing you. And of course, oh. it doesn't deal with the cause. And I've it's kind of nice when you can just get those blocks out. Yeah, I have set my intention to attract only holistic practitioners um, into my world so I can really help my clients and refer them to good people. Yeah, good. I'd like to say this. Yes. There's, there's no chance you can fix with a physical a problem that is rooted in the vibrational or emotional, if you want to call it that. Meaning this, if it's an invisible problem that's stored somewhere in the vibrational invisible, yeah. there's no amount of hammering of empty space that you can do to fix that. Okay. I'm not quite sure I understand that. Say that again, Martin. I'm sorry. I'll, okay, go ahead. Um, Okay. My, okay, a migraine is not caused by the deficiency in Tylenol. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if your problem is un, undefinable, if the problem is a memory, that memory lives in your soft tissue. Mm -hmm. You can't take a pill for that. Oh, okay. Yes, you can't take a pill for that. Yes. Okay, gotcha. I'm glad I was able to explain myself. <laughs> okay, so that should be about enough for the enthusiasts uh, to learn <laughs> what they need to know. Whether this works, yes. whether this works is not a question. Whether this works for you is not a question until you go and do it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, try this, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually, I've come to not caring. I don't okay. care how long you want to stay in your pain. I don't care how I'm long you want to be miserable. Here are the tools. Yeah, I'm willing to help you. Okay. And I don't care if you want to not. You know what, Martin? I'm going to have to tap on that for myself. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yes, thank you. All right. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Scott. Uh, Life this has Enthusiast been so much fun. Online Radio and TV Network. Thank you very much for joining us. And we're going to see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye.